Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. That is right, we are making these beautiful, fabulous fruit trays. This pattern is so easy, so if you are fruit tray challenged like myself, stay tuned. All right, we're gonna be starting with the rectangle tray. I like rectangle trays. I got this from the dollar store. Holla. Make sure it has a lip to hold in all those fruit juices. All right, we're gonna start by dicing at where we're cutting our pineapple in half. I'm gonna leave that stem on because that stem is just sexy to me. It's kind of exotic looking, so I'll leave that on there. Then we're gonna cut the halves in halves. So we have four pieces there, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna remove the flesh from the pineapple skin. It should look just like that. Now we're gonna slice the pineapple into even size little triangles. Perfect. And I'll just go ahead and place them right back into the little pineapple shells. I think this is so cute. Aren't they cute? I love the way that look. This is going to be the divider in our trays, okay? So go ahead and place those in the four corners of your tray. And then we're going to set that aside. Now once you learn this pattern, you won't forget, you guys. And you can find this recipe on my blog with lots of tips and stuff on how to arrange fruit trays. So go on over there, check it out, dwithsomecooks.com. All right, now I'm going to cut my cantaloupe in half and go ahead and scoop out all those seeds and stuff. Make sure you have a little slop bucket close by. It helps a lot, okay? I'm gonna slice it. It really doesn't matter how you cut this um, cantaloupe because really we just we just want it to be in little uniform cubes, okay? So it doesn't have to be cut perfectly. We just want little cubes just like that. Perfect. Go ahead and set that aside and move on to the honeydew melon and do the same thing. And make sure you have your wet washcloth and a little dry towel because making fruit trays is messy. Oh my gosh. And I used to clean up after I cut every single fruit because it, it was a mess. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna cut that up and now we are ready. Not yet though. Ah, we're gonna cut our watermelon. I did my watermelon like eggs. So cut it in eggs and then go ahead and slice just like we did the pineapple into little cute little triangles. Okay, now we're gonna start arranging our platter. On the shorter ends of the platter, I'm gonna place my um, watermelon on the outer edge and then I'm gonna add in some of that honeydew melon and then some cantaloupe. You wanna have both sides even like that okay you want them to like a little pattern you want it to match and then we're going to put in some blueberries to fill in all of those gaps and stuff you can use blackberries i like the contrast the darkness of against that i think it's really pretty like that okay so everything looks pretty even and now we're going to add some grapes a nice vine of grapes in the middle and kind of have it cascading down like that perfect and now for the longer edges of the platter i'm going to add in that cantaloupe and then some of the honeydew melon to kind of fill it in I'm just filling in all these little spaces here. And then we're gonna use the blueberry to fill in any more little gaps. And if you're enjoying this recipe, you guys, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love it. So we're pretty much done right here, but it's still missing something. It still needs that pizzazz to it. So we're gonna add in some fresh flowers. Yay! Flowers make everything better, doesn't it? I have an array of colors and stuff. So we're just gonna um, cut them off the stem. Now I have some tips in my blog on how to choose the best flowers for your fruit platter. You want them to be non-toxic, of course. So I'm just gonna add, you know, you can. I like to add flowers at the top, kind of have them cascading down. And of course, don't forget to decorate the platter as well. And I also decorate the cutting board. I like for just flowers to be everywhere. It just makes it, just takes it over the edge. Oh, I love it. So we're pretty much done here. This tray is great for weddings, wedding brunches, graduation, Mother's Day brunches, all that kind of stuff. But I must warn you, when people find out you know how to make a fruit platter, they're going to ask you to make one for every single event. So you've been warned. Just send them to my site, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.